One fact that has sparked considerable interest in the automotive community is the launch of Tesla's next generation 4680 battery. This battery will be used in the Tesla Model Y Juniper, which is set to be released in 2025, and it brings many innovations that you need to know about. Recently, some notable chemical changes were revealed compared to the first generations. These new cells, currently used in the Model Y, represent a significant evolution. Let's explore what has changed and how these alterations can boost the performance of future Model Y S and other Tesla vehicles. To understand the improvements, it's important to know why Tesla needed to make modifications to the 4680 battery. The first generation batteries fell short in terms of charging performance and energy density. Additionally, Tesla faced difficulties in producing cathodes using the dry electrode coating DB, process, which, despite reducing manufacturing time and costs, presented technical challenges. The difficulties worsened when the inventor of the dry electrode coating left Tesla last year. However, there have been positive updates recently. For instance, Lars Moravi, Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering, stated during the Q1 earnings call that the production of the 4680 battery is ahead of the Cybertruck production, with the capacity to support over 1,000 Cybertrucks per week. Despite this good news, if Tesla does not resolve the main performance issues of the 4680 battery, mass production will still result in a subpar product. At a previous investor conference, Drew Baglino, one of Tesla's executives, revealed that they are ready to launch an improved version of the 4680 cells with 10% more energy density than the first generation design. This 10% improvement in energy density was achieved through process optimization and mechanical design. Here in Texas, Tesla is preparing to launch the Cybertruck cell, which has 10% higher energy density. Fortunately, Tesla has introduced significant changes to improve the 4680 battery in the second generation, mainly by altering the battery's chemistry. One of the main discoveries was the increase in energy density, achieved primarily through a lower profile battery cap design, increasing the space available for the electrodes. The additional possibility of a thinner external cell was also considered. James Ma and his team revealed new details about the changes in the cathode and anode chemistry of the 4680 Gen 2 battery. According to James, the new battery in the Model Y is produced at the Austin Gigafactory in Texas and is based on NCMA chemistry, with a ratio of 82% nickel, 11% cobalt, 5% manganese, and 3% aluminum. Compared to Gen 1, the amount of nickel and aluminum slightly increased, while cobalt decreased. For the anode, it is made of natural graphite and doped with a small amount of silicon, similar to the Gen 1 anode. These adjustments are crucial to understanding how Gen 2 outperforms Gen 1 of the 4680 battery. Tests showed that the first generation 4680 battery cells had an NMC811 cathode chemistry, 80% nickel, 10% manganese, 10% cobalt, and a gravimetric energy density of 232.5 WH slash kg. Gen 1 had no silicon in the anode, but the battery tested by James Ma detected a small amount of silicon, about 4%. This is interesting because Drew Baglino had previously mentioned that the Cyberdruck cell had no silicon in the anode. Including silicon, even in small amounts, can enhance battery performance by increasing energy density and improving overall efficiency. Tesla is focused on achieving its energy density targets with the Cybertruck cell. Besides NCMA chemistry, Tesla is working to incorporate NMC955 cathode chemistry in its 4680 batteries to replace NMC811 chemistry. They are also experimenting with asymmetric lamination, where one side of the material is thicker than the other, to increase the capacity of the battery jelly roll that fits into the 4680 can. It's worth mentioning that Tesla is testing NMC973 chemistry, another potential advancement expected to debut in late 2024.
With all these changes in the new 4680 battery, we can expect a significant improvement in the performance of the Model Y and other future Tesla cars. Changing the battery chemistry was a smart move. Adding more aluminum to the cathode and reducing the amount of cobalt is a common strategy among battery manufacturers, as cobalt, while improving battery life and safety, is expensive and raises ethical concerns. The new chemistry can significantly reduce the battery cost and, consequently, the car's price. Moreover, since NCMA cathodes incorporate manganese and aluminum, they reduce cobalt dependence, addressing cost and sustainability concerns without significantly compromising battery performance. Including aluminum also improves the cathode's structural stability, increasing the battery's safety and lifespan. With positive results from NCMA cathodes, Tesla will likely continue using them, as they effectively reduce cobalt dependence. But who will be the supplier of all these cathodes needed for Tesla? It is believed that LG Chem is supplying finished cathode rolls or cathode powders to Tesla. One reason for this belief is that LG Chem pioneered NCMA chemistry. Recently, LG Chem started building the largest cathode factory in North America in Clarksville, Tennessee. This $1.6 billion plant, specializing in NCMA cathode materials, offers an annual production capacity of 60,000 tons. This capacity is enough to power approximately 600,000 electric vehicles per year, each with over 300 miles of range. Additionally, Tesla is said to have closed a major deal to acquire a substantial amount of electrodes from LG Energy Solution, a subsidiary of LG Chem, according to the Korea Economic Daily. An industry insider said Tesla's purchasing team recently ordered electrodes worth 6 trillion won from LG. Detailed discussions are ongoing, and a contract is expected to be signed in the second half of the year. The supply will begin next year, and is expected to last 6 to 7 years. This coincides with Tesla's facelift launch cycle and aligns well with the imminent release of the Model Y Juniper. The amount of electrodes ordered by Tesla is estimated to be installed in 1.3 to 1.4 million electric vehicles, representing about 70% of Tesla's total production last year. Battery manufacturers typically combine anode and cathode materials with conductive substances and binders to produce electrodes. These electrodes are then assembled into battery cells and supplied to automakers. Tesla's recent electrode order indicates they are acquiring these components just before the assembly stage. Although the article does not specify whether these electrodes refer to cathodes, anodes, or both, it is believed that Tesla is primarily buying cathodes. This makes sense, as it seems Tesla has figured out how to make its anodes entirely with the dry process. Cathodes have been the real challenge. Starting this August, LG Energy Solution will help Tesla ramp up 4,680 battery production. According to CEO Kim Dong-yun, mass production of these batteries will begin at the own plant in Korea between August and September. Kim also mentioned exploring various options to produce cylindrical batteries with the 4680 format at LG's Nanjing, China facilities. Moreover, LG Energy Solution plans to start producing lithium iron phosphate LFB, batteries, predominantly sourced from Chinese manufacturers, in the second half of 2025. LG is also in supply discussions with other automakers, such as BMW, GM, and Stellantis, increasingly adopting the cylindrical 4680 format due to its advantageous properties. An article from the Chinese outlet Late Post reported Tesla's ambitious goal to reduce the cost of its 4,680 batteries below the purchase cost of batteries from its suppliers. The report suggested an impending ultimatum. If this cost reduction goal is not achieved by the end of the year, Tesla may consider abandoning the 4,680 project. Several 4680 battery engineers expressed confidence in achieving this goal. They believe that as long as Tesla does not insist on manufacturing its cathodes with the dry process and is willing to buy them externally, focusing on improving production capacity, yield, and cost dilution, 
the 4680 battery project will likely achieve its cost reduction targets.